What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to a game that I bet you guys have not seen in a long time. And if you have seen this game, I'm I'm proud of you. I you have my respect. But this is Burnout Paradise and in my opinion one of the funnest racing games ever made. I adore this game. And for the people, for the OG people that have played this or just they've never heard of this, right? For some reason you've never heard of this game. I miss this so much. Please watch this video if you have never heard of it. Please do because I guarantee you, you'll fall in love with it. It's so much fun. There's no customization in the game or anything like that. So for anybody that's here, like saying, uh, you know, I, just, I, I don't have modified cars, so I don't, I'm not gonna be able to play the game. The e to spin your car. Great if you miss a turn, but there's plenty more you can do with it. I miss this game so, so, so much. So basically. I just ended up seeing this game literally just on my on my origin list because I ended up playing this game before. Your boost is maxed out. Use it that was a terrible parking. Um, but yeah, basically I've only started it right now again, and uh, I like I adore it. I'm gonna play some Markman. I'm gonna play some Markman. I'm gonna show you guys some gameplay just so you guys can see how good this game actually is. The other drivers are chasing you southwest. It's so much fun. But yeah, Burn Up Paradise. It's just such a throwback game to play and I miss it so much again I'm only at the start of the game so I'm not gonna have a lot of like the really good cars or anything like that but uh, you should be able to see at least some of the map now this is a remastered version of the game as well so like it has some of the better graphical changes graphical upgrades so it's uh, it's a little nicer to look at it still plays the same it's still the same sort of burnout you smash into the oh my god you still smash into other cars, you destroy them, you drive like every other burnout, it is... Oh my god! It is so much fun! I, I remember how hectic Marked Man was. A oh, Road Rage, I need to play a Road Rage game for you guys, just so you guys can see what it's like. It's just... Ooh. It is so much fun. Now this is a slow car that I have in the game right now. And it's not a particularly strong car either, which means that... You should see, uh, you should see me getting absolutely demolished by these, these guys here. Uh oh. And this is one of the best features about it. The crashes. The crashes are crazy. In this game. Again, if you crash too much, then obviously your, your car will get destroyed, you won't be able to do much, but... This is pretty much what we're, what we're doing. For this race, for the Mark Man, these guys are just trying to stop me from getting to the finish line, pretty much. So they're trying to destroy my car as much as they possibly can. Whoa. Oh my god, and you can see them attempting. Man, I, I miss this game so much. I need to play some other game types, though. Some other game types that either require me racing against other people, or... Just at least, at least showing you guys how fun this game is. Road Rage is my favorite. Road Rage is the funnest one, though. It's so good. <laughs> there's me. There's me. There's Alan. <laughs> I hate the way you have to have like a, a webcam enabled for this thing. It's it's so annoying. It's just so stupid. But yeah, the more obviously the more wins you get, the more cars you unlock and stuff like that. It has. It doesn't have a lot of cars in the game, but it has a, a decent amount of cars. And the, the way you start races, you just go to all of these like, different traffic lights. What is a Mark Man? I've already done one of those, so I'm not going to do that. I should really fix my car as well, because uh, it looks like this. Now, some people may have played Road Rage. There it is. Basically, some people have played the old, well, sorry, the newer Need for Speed Most Wanted. The one that came out in, like, 2012. So you, you should have seen that this game is quite similar to that and it is it is quite similar to that game now the thing is obviously these are all fake cars they're not oh, these are not real cars but they're all inspired by actual cars like this thing that I'm crushing to right now is an R34 this thing that I'm driving right now is like the a DC5 Integra or something like that I don't know it's like something similar to that oh, there goes R34 I can't even remember the name of it man I hate that I don't remember some of the things in this game there's like the Dodge Challenger in this game, which is this thing that I'm driving into, or Slash Mustang. It's like a mixture of cars. You know? 
like El Camino over here or whatever that is. Again, a whole mixture of different types of cars. Whoa. On this one, like I said, it's just all you have to do is just crash into cars and you can see the amount of takedowns that I need to have. The whole purpose of that is <laughs> I used to do that pretty much. Oh, there you go. <laughs> It's just something so satisfying about playing this game, and especially playing Road Rage. And you can see some of the cars are much stronger than, than others, so that's why I'm having a bit of trouble. Oh, that's what I said. I'm gonna send him to the moon, hit him off the ramp. Well, I'm finished right now, so I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna refill my NOS here, which I don't really need to because it's full. Uh, I'm just gonna stop. So they can pretty much end the race if I stop. Yeah, there we go. I don't need to do more. I'll, I'd rather do something else. Um, I want to show you guys some of the other cars that I have. And because of the version of the game that I have, I also have a load of bikes as well. So that's kind of a, that's kind of fun to play around with. Now cruising around Paradise City. Ooh. Okay, what car is that? Does that not look like a Grand National? Collection. Okay, so basically, when you're driving around, you will see some random cars about that will spawn. And... Uh, the way you unlock those cars is you just take them down, literally what you've done just there. So again, it's like a mixture of like proper racing and also just absolute chaos. You just destroy cars, you do everything. There it is. It just spawned. Let's listen to some, some tunes. I need to take him down. He's so much stronger than I am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was about to take me down there for a second. There we go, we got him, boys. I actually want to drive that thing. I really want to drive that thing. I thought I smashed into the wall as well. Um, I need to go back, I need to go to the junkyard. A stunt run is actually really cool as well. I might, I might do this right now. So this is... Literally everything here is... Is something, right? It's either a race, a time trial, or whatever. Between traffic lights, it's also a time trial. At every traffic light, there's an event, a stunt run, a race, yeah, one of those road rages, stuff like that. Now, stunt runs is pretty easy. Use boost and drifts to combo together the most outrageous jumps, rolls, and spins. Yes, I mean, he explained it pretty well. But I do know that on this bridge, there's a lot of different jumps. And those points are very low, so I feel like I can do really well, which is hitting these stunt jumps. Well, I've done 60,000 points instantly. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty much done. I don't think I can stop this one, if I remember correctly. I'm just going to stop here and just wait and see if I, I end up finishing it. But I definitely want to play with that, that, uh, hunter thing. Oh, no, it is. Yeah, I like that. I love that about these. Like, you just stop your car completely, and then it'll end the challenge early. So you don't have to wait that long. That's crazy, though. Okay, cool. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the junkyard. I want to get that Buick thing out. Collection of cars. Then find a junkyard like this one to switch your ride. Yeah, I got you. Five got junkyards you. to find in Paradise City. I'm pretty sure there's six now because I unlocked the little island. That was DLC. Yeah, look at this thing. That's so cool. I can't even change the color of it yet. I need to go, like, fix it because I got obviously the broken one that I crashed into. Basically, the way this works, you can see all my cars here. I'll show you everything. So this is what you start off with: the hunter, the hunter cavalry. This is literally as soon as you spawn into the game. This is what you get. The one huge thing about this game as well is the music. The music was crazy in this game. As soon as you hear Guns N' Roses' "Paradise City," like it's just, it's, it's just over. It just brings back so many memories. But yeah, this is what you start off with: all broken up, and then you have to go fix it. And um, this is the upgraded version of this. You can see the aggression is a little higher. Again, all different types of cars have their own little, you know, attributes. Then you have this thing, which is a little faster than the cavalry. And, uh, and you have this thing that I was driving. The strength is low, the boost is higher, and the speed is pretty much the same. Now, this one here has high aggression. So this is pretty much the same as this Hunter Mystique. But I think if I get an upgraded version of this car, which I will end up doing. Actually, we'll do that right now. I need to find it though. I need to find the spot. Have I driven through the through the uh, thing yet? I haven't. I don't think. 
So it'll show it as a little star on the map if I've driven past. There we go. I can get rid of all of that so it doesn't keep taking at the top of my screen. So let me fix this really quick. There we go. And I haven't driven through a burning route. Now the burning route is the thing. This looks so sick, by the way. Oh, I have. I can see it on a map. I can see it on a map. So basically, I think it's just because my car wasn't fixed. Um. Oh, this thing loves to slide. This is so... Also, drifting. This game is so easy. You just tap the brake and then it just goes sideways. It's so, so easy. Like, there it goes. It's just... It's just so easy. Now I want to get like this, like I said, the burning root version of this guy, which means it's just the upgraded version of this guy, like you guys have seen with the hunter at the very beginning. Uh, when I enter my, uh, well, it wasn't at the very, very beginning, but as you can see, I unlock all of these as soon as I go past the, the traffic lights. So even if I don't see them pop up as a little star, once I change to the car, it will pop up as a star. But is this how you unlock everything? Alright, let's do this thing. Get this is pretty much a time a trial. Route. Get from A to B, and that's pretty much here. it. Race southeast to the Wildcats baseball stadium. Looks pretty target, straightforward. I love the GPS system in this. The GPS reward. system is so easy to use. And it's so, so good. I wish that it would have been, like, a little bit more like this in a lot of other games. Like, watch, you just drive. Obviously, it shows you the arrow at the top of the screen, and it shows you the location where it is. But let's say you take... You know, you, you need to like take a turn, you need to like, go around the corner. It'll start flashing your indicator in the direction that you should be taking. And at the top of the screen, it should show you the streets that you're coming up against. And then, you know, it'll tell you to indicate and go onto that street. Hopefully you guys will see it. Ooh, okay, it's a lot of air. Yeah, you should be able to see it. Watch this, watch this, watch this. So it's not this corner, it'll probably be the next corner. Watch. There we go. That is so cool. And yeah, now I got an upgraded version of this car. It should look a little different, and uh... <laughs> I love Alan. Alan's jokes. All right, what's this thing look like? You by the way, the completely forgot about it. So you've earned a special prize. Ooh. There's a Hunter Vegas Carnival with your name on it at the junkyard. Yeah, I like these. Okay, well, I guess that's it. The if you want to see a little bit... Pioneer is now on the streets of Paradise City. Looks like an Audi Q7. It, shut it down to add it to your car collection. It's like an Audi Q7 just cruising around. That's mad. Alright, yeah, there's a lot of different and cool cars in this game, but... I mean, there's, there's so much content. Like I said, I'm only at the start of the game, so you should, you, like, you should be able to see so much content on the game. Um, <laughs> and, uh, again, I, if you want to see... I. I can actually make some more videos on the- Oh, i just seen it. Before I end the video, let's go ahead and just take this thing down real quick. Here. Come here. This thing's fast. Oh. Where'd he go? He crashed. It's like T- Oh, get out of the way! Here we go. Oh, he's going straight. Come here. We'll take him down before we finish up the video. He is definitely quicker than me. And a lot stronger than me. Oh, we got him. <laughs> That's great. That looks so good. Alright, yeah, I'll finish off the video here. I'm gonna keep playing this game. I may play it a little bit more. I may show it off a little bit more of the game. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Let me go back a little bit so you guys can see this nice, nice sign of the actual game itself. Alright then. Thank you again for watching. And I'll see you guys later. I'm out.